good evening this is Tina and uh, in this video I'm gonna show you the message expression okay let me add another one called the message expression okay and what that means is suppose you have a property spouse and you want to retrieve the value from property file and display on the page how would you do that if in plan spring mvc you have to create a message and you have to do the configuration for the resource bundle message resolver okay something like that then you have to configure for the best names right and in spring boot by default if you are looking for a file called messages.properties and the file is located under resources so let's do it i have a file called messages.properties okay and then here i will give a key channel name equals miss x r n g and uh, a project name because uh, a time leaf variable oh, no, no 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 standard standard uh, expression syntax how about that okay and in your page you want to retrieve this value and retrieve this value how to do that and a paragraph okay still Okay, this one is the default uh, channel name. This one is when you directly view on the browser, it will show default channel name. And have another one, default project name. Okay, and for the dynamic content, how do you do that? Remember, using non standard attribute, th what? Text. Okay, because this is gonna be a text. Okay. And here using hash two, and the first one is what channel.net. Okay, you copy paste here. Second one, exactly the same thing. And here using th text, but this one gonna using project.net. That's it. No configuration at all. You just add the properties. Then you retrieve it using hash. Okay. Now let's run. I just run this project in uh, debug mode. Then we control F9. It should work. Okay. No class to reload it. Okay. See if it works. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. It expect you have what is this thing? channel.nm e n u s which means it we expect we have a another file which is message let's see okay e n u s okay and let's redeploy oh probably not because that okay let me remove it let me revert it. Okay, delete it anyway. And uh, I need to restart. Okay. Probably this message is not get uh, deployed. Because by default, it should look for message.properties file. Okay, restart it. And then goes here. Simple expression. You will see. Okay, miss xing time leaf standard expression syntax. The reason why it show like this, oh, I can't go. Why it show like that before? Yes, you trying to have a channel name in the properties files, but it thinks our message of the property files is not get uploaded to the server because I just using Control F9. It just reload for the classes and the files, uh, the time leaf files, but it didn't have your message didn't have our message a property file upload to the server side and he cannot find this channel name that's why it showed that a question mark 
the channel name US that thing, okay? But after I restart the message properties is get uploaded to the source side, then it can retrieve, okay? And when we deploy, when we directly view our page in the browser, you will see the default channel, the default project name, okay? And the next one, Spring has, uh, Spring, when it's looking for messages, it will by default looking for messages.properties. And you are welcome to have another name. And uh, how to do that? You're using spring dot messages dot best name. By default, it's the messages. Suppose you type a AA dot AA, then you can create a AAA dot properties files. Okay. And if you want to customize, you can do like this way. But if you have a multiple message properties files, then you have to add a MVC configurer that configuration. Okay, then you have to add a message resource resolver, and you can have multiple. Okay, reloadable resource bundle message something I forgot. Okay. Okay, that's it for this video. And I showed you how to have uh, how to retrieve messages from the properties files, and uh, make sure after you do redeploy the project. Otherwise, you will see the same errors as I showed before. Okay, that's it. And uh, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.